in, in 1999, um, an Iranian family came to Australia by boat. It was mum, dad and two daughters, aged 10 and 7 at the relevant time. They were put in Woomera Detention Centre, which was the hellhole of choice back then. Um, after about 15 months or so in detention, they were all doing it pretty hard, but especially the 10-year-old girl. Um, she was in a very bad way. She had given up. She was in a state of despair. And a psychiatrist heard about her plight and went to Woomera from Adelaide to see what was going on. Um, he delivered a report to the Department of Immigration saying that the family had to be moved to a metropolitan detention centre because this kid needed daily clinical help. She'd completely given up hope. She'd stopped eating. She'd stopped caring for herself. She was frightened of going to the toilet block, which was a couple of hundred metres from their, from their cabin. Um, she was in a very bad way. Um, the department ignored the report, and so uh, a couple of months later, the psychiatrist wrote another report, uh, more terse, more definite, and it finished with the observation that the entire family had already suffered in Woomera beyond the human capacity to endure. It said it was essential for the family to be moved to a metropolitan detention centre so the 10-year-old girl could get daily clinical help. Eventually, the department relented and moved the family to Maribyrnong in the western suburbs of Melbourne. And although the reason for moving them there was so the 10-year-old girl could get daily clinical help, for the first two weeks or so of their stay in Maribyrnong, no one came to see her. No one at all. Not a nurse, not a clinician, not a doctor, not a psychiatrist, no one at all. And on a Sunday night in May of 2002, while her mother and father and her young sister were off having their dinner in the mess hall, this little girl, alone in their cell in Maribyrnong, took a bed sheet and hanged herself. But because she was little, she didn't know how to tie the knot properly and she was still suffocating when the family came back to their cell. Uh, she and her mother were immediately taken to the uh, general hospital nearby. She was placed in intensive care with two ACM guards at the door so that legally they were still in immigration detention. Um, the lawyer who'd been looking after their visa application heard about this went to the hospital at about 9.30 on the Sunday night, said good day to the guards who know him well because he visits on regularly. He said, I just want to speak to the mother to see if there's anything I can do to help. And they said, no, you're not allowed to see them because lawyers visiting ours in immigration detention are nine to five and they sent him away. He then rang me at home and told me what had happened. I will never forgive any government that is able to mistreat people so badly that a 10 year old girl tries to kill herself and guards then turn away someone who's offering simple human support. That is the reason I will never give up on this struggle.